a 63 years old male with three weeks history of abdominal pain, anorexia, nausea, and vomiting. Came to hospital because of increasing pain, localized to the right lower abdominal quadrant. Here are cine clips of ultrasound examination through the right iliac fossa. What is your diagnosis? As you can see, there is tubular, blind-ended, non-peristaltic, non-compressible, hypoechoic mass lesion. It extends from the cecum and bulging within the cecal lumen. The lesion shows internal echoes with layering. The lesion is surrounded by minimal free fluid collection and echogenic omental fat. Color Doppler examination revealed no internal vascularity. These ultrasound features suggesting mucosal of the appendix. Mucosal of the appendix is a term used to describe a dilated, mucin-filled appendix. It is most commonly the result of epithelial proliferation, but can be caused by inflammation or obstruction of the appendix. Mucosal of the appendix is a rare entity found in 0.2% to 0.3% of appendectomies. They may be caused by either benign or malignant lesions, and categorized into four histologic types. Number one is mucus retention cyst due to obstruction, most commonly by a facolate. Number two is mucosal hyperplasia. Number three is mucinous cystadenoma of appendix. And number four is mucinous adenocarcinoma of appendix. On ultrasound imaging, mucosal of the appendix is typically cystic mass, with variable internal echogenicity. The presence of onion sign, which is sonographic layering within a cystic mass, is considered a highly suggestive feature. Acoustic shadowing may be present due to the mural calcifications. On CT, they are typically seen as a well-circumscribed, low attenuation, spherical or tubular mass, contiguous with the base of the cecum. Curvilinear mural calcification suggests the diagnosis, but is seen in less than 50% of cases. Intraluminal air, or air fluid level within mucosal, indicate the presence of superinfection, which can occur in both benign and malignant mucosal. Mural nodularity and irregular wall thickening are suggestive of a malignant process. When identifying mucosal on CT, a search for extraluminal mucin is mandatory, which are low attenuation deposits commonly seen in certain locations like periappendiceal space, peritoneal cavity, and at the surface of ovaries and bowel.